everyone, and welcome to another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, number 10, Let's Play, haha, and we are back here in our Let's Play of Awesomeness, where I got some things to tell you guys, alright, so, I actually done a video recording of an episode that will never air, because I will never show it, but, basically in the episode, I talked a lot, just basically the entire episode I talked, and basically what I talked about was India and the fact of choosing it. And in that episode, it, mm, I pointed out many facts about this game that would inevitably conclude to the fact that we probably won't form India by the end of this Let's Play. Like, I pointed to the fact that, you know, it would, there's so many regions and British and so many wars we'd have to do against them, it's going to be near impossible. I pointed out a couple of um, reasons, like our technology is just never going to be as great as India, so, I mean, British, the British Indians, so we'd never be able to actually challenge them. I pointed out, uh, pointed out that, like, um, you know, it would probably take until 1927 to finish up everything, and... It, it, it was honestly dang depressing <laughs> after like seeing that clip I was like wow that just like sapped all the energy I had in that let's play and like put it inside a box and then my mom somehow with a car ran it over repeatedly and then after that we went all like I don't know what that movie is called but we went out with the baseball bats and started beating up the remains of the box and putting it inside, then we slowly but surely put it inside a bag and threw it in the water. And then it inevitably getting eaten by a shark. So it was just a whole compilation of just negative reinforcements and this. And you know what, after I was watching that clip, and I was watching it, I was like, you know what? That was not the point of this Let's Play. The point of this Let's Play was that I was going to give it my hardest. I was going to be, I was going to try my hardest to do this. I was going to try the dangest hardest that I could do to try to form India. And if that means I fail, well, I hope someday somebody else will be will have a better time than I did. But at least I tried. At least I know I gave it my full 100% effort. I did not give up one bit. I gave every, I fought tooth and nail for this dream. And you know what? It, I, I won't deny it could still happen because there is one hope that I think that could help us with the thing. Because our main problem is, is the infamy limit and with... And with the fact that British are more powerful than us. Okay, the only way I've thought of a strategy for this, but let me just say this now. I will not, this is from this point on, I'll say this from now on. I will not give up on this Let's Play. I don't care. I don't care if somebody says anything otherwise, you know, like says in the comments, which I have had a couple of private messages about. James, you know, this might be a little bit hard to do, you know, da 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 da. No. I will do this no matter what. I want to see this Let's Play through. I want to see what happens to this. If I die horribly by the by the Russians, oh the Russians, then so be it, I die horribly by the Russians, but at least I know I died doing what I wanted to do, and you know what, that's something that matters, I died doing what I want to do, and I do die, 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 do, yeah, okay, so, moving on from there, how are we going to form India, that is another question I wish was way easier to answer, but, the what the only two reasons the only two things we place we can form India is I have to conquer all the regions and enslave all the little little states of um those little Indian states or the other way to form India is I have to make a revolution happen in one of those little tiny states which will then make Indian nationalists I can't do it in my own homeland sadly I've tried like it's well I don't mean I tried I've looked through our level rep rebel count we actually don't have any like pin like Indian nationalists and don't think that don't think these guys are Indian nationalists I like in a separate let's play I've like tried like separately like separately from this one I tried to do a um uh what was it called a Siddhar that was it. a Siddhar you know just kind of goofing around and I tried to see if you could actually do that I like made a lot of like pan nationalist spam with like the uh revolution mode it does not change anything. It just changes your color. It doesn't actually make you into India. So, I'm not trusting that. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's going to work. So, what am I actually going to do? Well, how do I know? <laughs> uh, but, I guess the only option I can think of at this point to form India is I have to just keep in my original plan, which is I'm going to attack it. I'm going to attack India, uh, the UK, when I'm ready, when I can fight them, when I'm ready to go kick their booty. 
So, you know what? From there, we're gonna move on. So, and what am I? What's my strategy for this? Well, from here on out, we're gonna have to do hardcore, lots of stuff, lots of mobilization, lots of everything. So first off, we have three armies, all right? We have three armies: one right here, one right there, one right there, one right there. I'm gonna delete them all. A lot of you guys are thinking James is not a smart idea. It is a smart idea. This army stinks. Okay, it legitly stinks. There is not many good soldiers in it. It has terrible cap. Actually, wait a minute. We could probably keep the soldiers, but we have to delete the cavalry. Cavalry just stinks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine all these soldiers into my main place in um, Lahore, and then from there we're gonna start. We're gonna start doing a couple things. One thing we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start switching this from encouraging craftsmen to encouraging soldiers. All right. From there, we're going to use those new encouraged soldiers to start building a new gigantic army of really good balance and naval structures. So that means we have to build lots and lots of artillery. Because we're going to need lots and lots of artillery to beat the UK. Because the UK has a bunch of manual soldiers that are much better than us. Because most likely we're going to be fighting on this border, border region right here. And we're going to need lots of protection to fight against the British army. Which I've estimated they probably have about four death stacks in here. Okay. Next thing we're going to have to do is... While we look at British, what we're going to have to start doing is decreasing relations. A lot of you guys are thinking, wait James, you shouldn't do that, that's a bad idea. No, it's a good idea. Because what we need to do is get the British out of our sphere. Because we need to get the British out of our sphere because we need to do this. We need to get them to leave our sphere so that we can do that. And then we need to make sure that we get sphered by the U Russian Empire. The Russians need to like us, okay? We need Russia to start liking us a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. We need them to be our, basically, a backhand man for this entire invasion scheme because we're going to use their army since we have a good land land opening to just basically go and destroy the British Empire because while the British usually have an advantage in almost every other region like they can beat the Russians almost every other place they do not have an advantage in India because they have me my land this is going to be my land my rules this nutrition right here like if we were going to war against British right now I'm assuming that this nutrition right here would kill them by the way see the Russians right here Look at that army. That's already... They probably have six of those kind of things, which is enough to at least maybe overpower this, and definitely overpower these little tiny states, which is what we need to do. Okay. So, first off, when we get the industrialized army, is good. Third, okay. I think we're on third, yeah. We're on third. So, basically, next thing we need to do is, I'm going to cancel these. I bet a lot of you guys are thinking, James, no! Don't cancel your only factory. Wait, let me make sure. Let me make sure this is the right strategy if I remember correctly. Uh, yes, it is. Okay, because you know what? A lot of you guys think, you know, you, you shouldn't cancel it. They have, they, they your only factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this factory is going to give me goosebumps if I keep it alive. It is going to bankrupt me if I keep it alive. So, you know, I'm just going to delete it right now so I can, so I can save myself the agony and pain of dealing with it later. What else? So from there, now that we got that done with, I'm gonna keep the um, re regular clothes factory because that's gonna be help. That's gonna be in need if we're gonna need to build up a better or to a better army. But what we need to do from now is start building up random factories around the world. But we need to start building up a basic economy from down under. And we also need to, if I wish I could, I wish I could get my state level up better. But that's probably not gonna happen because this is a pretty abysmal economy system so let me just get down RG outputs so we need to look at our RG outputs and see what do we need in each region alright we need to get basically our economy going so what I needed to start doing is thinking where should I build specific places okay I need a gun factory to get a gun factory I need ammunition factory to get ammunition I need sulfide I don't have any sulfide in any of my any of my regions sadly so you know, maybe we won't be able to make our own guns without importing a lot, which is something we have to kind of limit. Because if we import in a lot, then our economy is just never going to grow. So we have to think of different ways to grow our economy. One way that we could do is try to make a steel factory. A steel factory would be very smart because we have two different types of steel production right here next to us. And honestly, it wouldn't be that hard to do. So we're going to first, in, one of my, in this region that isn't, technically ours and technically none of the people really like us we're going to make a steel factory a steel factory okay that should be making us a lot of money a lot of steel which is then going to help us with a lot of other building projects okay what else do we need i'll tell you guys well we also need a couple other things like just a regular glass factory and cement factory a glass factory and cement now cement i think takes um just regular wheat 
I remember correctly. No, it takes coal. So what we should be doing is trying to figure out if there's any other coal places we have in the world. Because I think I actually only have one coal place in the world, and that's over here in, uh... No, we have one other, right over here. Right over here in our little coercion land, which is where I'm going to build my first cement factory, because that's exactly where we need it. Okay, we got a cement factory. Okay, and Bakuchan, and Bakuchan, or Bakuchan. I, I don't know. I've already apologized. I've already said this many times. I'm very sorry I do not pronounce regions right. It's just, I'm very sorry. It's just what's going to happen. I don't know how to say these names. Oh, but you guys did correct me on this. The name over here is not Cockland, which would probably be the most ambiguous and stupid name over here. It's called Cocand. Cocand, which actually does sound like a very cool name. Like, I, I'm sorry, man. You sound like Cockland, but you're really Cocand. So, Cocand is actually a good name. Cocand. I like that. Cocand. Also, somebody corrected me on my pronunciation of this, but I won't get into that. And Russia did its really good jerkish move and expanded into China. Good job, Russia. That means you are definitely going to stay in great power in this, which means we definitely need you as an ally. Okay. Next thing I need to do is I need to make some grass, gla glass, glass factories. So what I need to do is figure out where do I want to build those up. I need to figure out a good place because if I don't figure out a good place, we could definitely die from here. Okay, so let's see. Build a factory. I'm going to build a glass factory, right? Yes. It requires coal. Dang. Well, I'm already going to be already stocked in coal, so what I might actually do instead is build a, um, what was it? Not a winery. Winery would actually be, actually, no, a liquor distillery would actually be, no, I need to build the glass factory first. Because it's going to be requiring daily inputs of this, which means, yeah, we're going to need to do that. Wait, how much, speaking of which, this is the first time I'm actually going to ever do this. How much coal am I making? Ooh, okay. How much does this need? Okay, let's go over here. This needs daily inputs of coal. How much will this need a day? It probably will need a lot, if I'm guessing correctly. Because it's usually not that. And I get you, And some of you guys might be wondering, why am I not waiting for the capitalists to build it? Because I don't believe the capitalists ever will. I believe this system. When you don't have lots of capitalists like I do, they don't ever come. And I'm probably not even going to worry about that. Because it's just, it's just stupid to worry about. Alright. So I'm still trying to figure out where I want to build this glass factory. <laughs> Um, see, this is going to hurt me, I already know. No, I just build it, um, it's smart to build it right next to resources, but I know, poo it, <laughs> just poo it, I'm just going to go with the glass factory in the region it should be in, okay, next I'm going to have to build, next I'm going to switch all these stupid modifiers, okay, definitely Afghanistan, I'm going to switch this to just constantly making craftsmen, I don't need to make anything else. You know, I'm never going to be able to get my industrial, not industrialization, my craftsman level up to anything. So, I'm not even going to try. Okay, right there, right there. Okay. And over here, we could actually encourage, actually, no, no, they have enough, they have enough basis of workers. Actually, we can encourage one more, we can actually build one more factory over here, which, what do I want to build? Um, it, we have fruits in our land, so we could possibly, ooh, a can factory. We might need this. Definitely. I'm trying to think. Fertilizer? No, we need sulfide. We don't have sulfide in our borders, and I don't want to risk it. Uh, what was it? I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking. Wineries! That's what I was thinking of. We need to build glass. Dang it. You know what? Bakshurin, I'm sorry, you're going to be our glass place. Wait, didn't we, weren't we already building a glass? Yeah, we're already building a glass place, so. You know what? Maybe I'll just wait for a second and do that. Okay. So, yeah. That was a long, long, long opening move, but it was well worth it because right now we're going to be productionizing a lot. Sign the Geneva Convention, well, since we're never probably going to have our forces at full health, no. Because we actually do to make sure, our, just in case if we can get our forces at full health, we need to make sure we have every little advantage we can get against the British. If we have no advantage against the British, we basically die in this game. And that is the truth. And that is the truth where my game almost crashes. That always seems to happen, doesn't it? Doesn't it always seem to happen? I don't know. Okay. So Dax is a little bit too lenient right now. I totally agree with you guys. We're going to get it up to 55. Uh, 55. And, wow, we stink at almost everything we do. Okay. Right now, I think it's because of production costs of building all those factories. Once that goes down, we should be back to just regular taxes. 
but that's probably not gonna be for a while. So right now we are just gain, just losing infamy and just gaining what we need to. So let me just wait for my armies. My armies are crossing the perilous desert of my land, and actually to look at the terrain. This is what my land looks like. It's quite beautiful in the sense that it, well, it's beautiful, I guess. It's not as like crazy as like Ser uh, Serbia and like Ru northern Russia, but yeah, it has its own special charms and flaws. And we're about to move all of our soldiers in here. So, let me go. Purality, yay! We're purists, I guess. I guess is the word for it. Let me just move my army. Moving my army, moving my army. Okay, we gotta switch that right now. If we have negative, it's gonna kill us. And you guys are gonna say tax the people or tariff the people. Tariffs are not good. I don't think in the long term tariffs ever help your people out. It actually hinder them, in my opinion. Okay. So now we have all this. Combine all the army. Okay, let's see. We have one, two. Let's see. We have 15. So let's see. We need at least 15. Um. We need 15 cannons. We need 15 cannons. When we need 15 cannons, that can be divided into three. Oh, that, that's pretty easy. That equals five. Five armies. Five armies of five. So you would need approximately two for each. So that means six. You need about six horsemen. Wow, I almost got the numbers correctly with just regular. Okay. What we're actually going to need. Ah, shoot. Lag. There we go. Almost like killed me again. Okay, so what we're going to need is approximately I'm just going to make I'm just going to make the cannons now because the cannons are going to be the hardest part. Okay, so cannons, build the cannons, 13 cannons. Ooh. All right. I don't care. <laughs> we're going to spread out our troops in our most supplied areas cuz that's how we always been doing this. Let me just go down to here. Let's see. There we go. Let's say so our most supplied areas are right there and right there. That is very weird. In fact, our capital's not even showing up anymore. That's really weird. It's like our capital really bad or something? I don't know. The whole supply thing is still kind of confusing to me a little bit. I think it might be because of like... Is it because there's like high amounts of my people here? No, there isn't. There isn't high amounts of my people here. Okay, but we can support this. We can support these two guys being on different continents and stuff. Well, this one might have to split up one more time. That's fine, me. You guys go right there. And it seems like this map mode is really finicky. So I'm just going to stop messing with it. Alright, we got another point. We can start decreasing our relationships with the uh, Great British even more. Alright, and I'm starting to speak really fast. So that means I may be getting a little bit softer. I'm very sorry about that. But I think that's what you guys usually want. Okay. Next thing what we need to do is start getting our population into happiness areas. And we need to start increasing immigration. So we need to actually have political workers and political stuff. So I know I was going to say I'm going to try to do this like really, really free, to, uh, not really free government. I'm going to have to. That's the only way I'm going to get these guys to do anything. Uh, I'm going to try to hold off for election. So <laughs> if I must, I, I know I'm going to increase in political awareness. But it's going to help our people a lot. It's also going to help us suppress suppress a lot of people. So I'm going to gain political parties as our first modifier for the new world, a new world order. So we have all these kind of events. I expect them to be quite hazardous. And uh, Great Britain, decrease, decrease. I don't know how long this episode's been. Um, actually, um, hmm. I'll end the episode when we reach August 1st. Because I don't want to make this episode too long. Because then you guys just start to zone out. So, with that, everyone, it was a good episode today. Hope you guys enjoyed my new energy. Hope you guys love this new kind of split, uh, thing I'm doing. And I'll see you guys next time on the Paneb Let's Play.